Hi, I'm Jeff Haynes with Tech Bargains, and today we're bringing you the video review of the HP TouchSmart 610. We frequently mention that all-in-ones are designed to be the center of your home's computing experience, with a lot of touchscreen bells and whistles, but these frequently come with a downside. A lot of these systems are rigid and unmoving, which forces a lot of consumers to abandon the touchscreen functionality in favor of the traditional mouse and keyboard. But what if you could make an all-in-one that was a little bit more inclusive and social as an experience? HP believes that it's done that with the TouchSmart 610, but will this become the center of your family's computing? Why don't we find out? The HP TouchSmart PC we reviewed actually had stronger specs than the one we initially reported in our unboxing video a few weeks ago. The system came with a Core i7-2600 quad-core processor running at 3.4 GHz that could be turbo-boosted up to 3.8 GHz, and it came with 8 GB of DDR3 RAM. This is supplemented by an ATI Radeon HD5570 video card with 1 GB of graphical RAM, which helped display content on the 23-inch screen with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. The system came with a 1.5 terabyte hard drive spinning at 5400 RPM and featured a Blu-ray combo drive, Beats audio-powered speakers, and a 6-in-1 card reader. Rounding out some of the specs are an Aver Media ATSC TV tuner, 6 USB 2.0 ports, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. All of these specs simply point out how powerful the system is. In fact, while we were very impressed by the stats of the Dell Inspiron 1 we reviewed recently, the TouchSmart 610 just edged it out according to the Windows Experience Index. Both systems received a 7.6 for RAM and a 5.9 for the hard drive, but the TouchSmart scored a 7.6 for the processor and 6.7s for both the graphics performance and gaming graphics performance. Again, remember that the scale tops out at 7.9. While we were able to run movies, games, and other programs without a hint of slowdown, it's also nice to know that the specs of the 610 ensures that it will be around for a long time. It's definitely powerful enough to run some of the latest games as well. Modern Warfare 3? No problem. Arkham City? Piece of cake. We were also pleased that the machine is incredibly quiet. We only noticed the fan kick in to a mild hum after multiple hours of use. Visually, what stands out about the 610 are its distinctive curved lines and the frame of the system that's reminiscent of a flat-screen TV. Frequently, all-in-ones can come across as inflated monitors or large boxy sets because of the components that are packed inside. HP managed to squeeze everything for the TouchSmart into a frame that looks like a TV you'd have in your office, dorm room, or on a kitchen counter, which is an amazing feat. Attention was clearly paid to its design, as both sides feature a limited number of inputs and buttons, which manages to focus attention to the screen. The majority of inputs are placed on the rear of the system behind a subtle pull-down door which is designed to hide the various USB, speaker, Ethernet, and coaxial cables that you might choose to plug into the computer. For the most part, this works well, although because the port panel and the pull-down door are rather contained, you'll find the space becomes extremely crowded, especially because coax cables aren't the most flexible things around. Move past the immediate look of the system and the next thing that comes to mind is the recline feature of the TouchSmart 610. Most all-in-ones are solidly fixed to their stand, so while they allow for a mild shift in the angle of the screen, you're essentially presented with a head-on display. This can force the user to keep their arm parallel to the ground if they want to use the touchscreen function, which is fine for short periods of time, but eventually makes your arm tired. That can cause a lot of users to stop using the touchscreen functionality entirely and rely upon keyboards and mice. But thanks to the recline feature, users can tilt the computer 5 degrees forward and a full 60 degrees backwards, bringing the device almost completely flat. This actually has a few intriguing advantages that many other systems can't take advantage of. For one thing, it clearly solves the arm fatigue issue from all-in-ones. Sliding the system almost flat allows you to rest your arms on the bezel, making the touchscreen much more ergonomic during use. There are some instances of color shifting at extreme angles with the system facing head-on. But if you tilted it backwards to the full 60 degrees, these issues virtually disappeared. Only if you started looking at the system from an extreme angle coming up from the bottom of the table would you run into the same problem. That versatility means that you could easily gather a group of people around and watch movies without crowding. The shift in angle also works well for little ones to see the screen, and coupled with the adjustable webcam, it makes it much easier for younger members of the family to enjoy content or communicate with family members. Sure, you can still use the wireless mouse and keyboard to control the system, but it's much more engaging to get people huddled around the screen to use the computer. Speaking of gathering the family around, HP's really amped up the interactivity for the TouchSmart with the inclusion of the Magic Canvas, which is the evolution of the TouchSmart software that lets users interact with the system in a variety of ways. Launching the program takes you to a colorful, interactive desktop that allows you to pin notes, video and audio files, and photos and frequently visited websites for instant access. 
meaning that families can provide reminders of phone calls or grocery lists, or leave messages for each other. There are more than a dozen apps pre-ordered in a carousel designed to maximize the entertainment features of the device as well. Users can immediately launch into Rhapsody or a music player, launch the HP Movie Store for the latest movies, or Hulu for television shows. You can also engage in the social arena by pulling up Twitter or Facebook, check out the latest news through RSS feeds, and browse the web. You can also automatically launch the live TV browser and watch shows on the system through the Windows Media Center, which effectively turns the system into a DVR, particularly with the use of the multimedia remote and the included infrared sensor. For gamers in the family, the 610 comes preloaded with Ubisoft's Ruse, a strategy game designed to take advantage of touchscreens. There's even a cooking app that comes with recipes if you choose to use it in the kitchen. The Magic Canvas really highlights the 23-inch screen, which is an incredibly solid display. The touchscreen supports multi-touch gestures, so you can easily command files and windows with a swipe, pinch, or flick. Unlike many touchscreens, however, the TouchSmart 610 is surprisingly durable. We could press down hard on the screen without a hint of discoloration or visual impact, which frequently occurs on other touchscreens or all-in-one systems. Visual content on the display was incredibly crisp and clear, particularly when it came to Blu-ray content or stream media. There were slight cases of noise and artifacting, but they were minor compared to the sharpness of the screen and its visuals. Considering that the system can play everything from discs to streams, recorded and live television, you got virtually everything you need to have an entertainment powerhouse at your fingertips. HP also managed to implement a very intelligent feature with the TouchSmart to take advantage of its screen, which they call HP LinkUp. Essentially what it allows you to do is connect a separate computer via your wireless connection, displaying a virtual desktop of the remote system on the TouchSmart screen. That means that a laptop with a smaller screen can take advantage of displaying content on a much larger monitor without relying on Wi-Di adapters or external hardware or cables. Files can also be transferred between systems, eliminating the reliance upon thumb drives. This feature, along with the recline option, and the fact that you can control the remote system via touchscreen, makes the TouchSmart effective in both a home and a business setting. We were also blown away by the speakers. HP has been refining their Beats audio presentation for their systems, and it's definitely paid off in spades with the TouchSmart 610. These were some of the loudest speakers we've heard from an all-in-one system or a laptop. In fact, we found that we could barely turn the speakers up past 50%, without finding the sound of a movie or a show becoming insanely loud and completely filling the room. Explosions were very loud and reverberating, bass-heavy music thumped solidly, and acoustic songs had beautiful mid and high tones. All of this occurred without having to tweak or adjust a single option in the Beats control panel, though when we did, our sound performance went through the roof. Were we able to find any issues with the TouchMart 610? Well, yes we did, and aside from the slightly cluttered rear panel of the system, the majority of the qualms came through the Magic Canvas. For one thing, the Magic Canvas system seems to be particularly limited to the pre-installed set of apps that comes with the system. There doesn't seem to be any way to add any apps or programs to the carousel that haven't come from HP when it was manufactured. In fact, the only thing that you can add to the carousel is a website link. So if you've bought a new educational game for your kids or you wanted to include a different media app, like TweetDeck, you can't do it through the carousel. What's more, it doesn't seem as though you can automatically launch the system into the Magic Canvas automatically, which means that you're forced to keep it in sleep mode with the Canvas launched to take advantage of its features. It would have been better if this was automatically set, or if there was a customized load screen that gave the option to auto-launch to either the Magic Canvas or the Windows 7 desktop. We also found some odd quirks with the Magic Canvas, which sometimes hampered the touchscreen functionality. For example, while we found the touchscreen very responsive in most situations, the Magic Canvas seemed to add a bit of lag when it came to launching apps. We found at least a 5 to 10 second delay from the selection of an app to the initial launch of a program or a website, which we didn't experience through the Windows desktop. Furthermore, we also picked up on the fact that you would sometimes need to hit an app button two or three times before the system recognized the command, which was something we didn't experience with the Windows 7 desktop. Finally, we ran into a few odd quirks here and there with some apps. For example, the Netflix app that was included didn't actually recognize our username and password to run through its interface, while the Netflix homepage pulled up and recognized the info just fine. Other oddities included intermittently slow browser launches and page loads, and the unexplainable use of the Ruse app that was actually a shortcut that removed the user from the Magic Canvas to launch Steam. Finally, while we were really impressed by the specs and the hardware, we were surprised that this system didn't have any USB 3.0 ports anywhere. 
This is a machine that's clearly been designed to last for many years, but leaving out the inclusion of even one super speed port means that users will have slightly outdated hardware when it comes to transferring files. That's especially true if you're trying to archive video files, music, or other multiple gig files simply because of the extra time it will take to transfer everything. The HP TouchSmart 610 is a beautifully designed system that's both robust and innovative. The system packs extremely powerful specs that can handle virtually any workload that you throw at it, and it's clearly been designed to be the center of a family's entertainment and computing experience, with its TV tuner, enhanced speakers, and its unique tilting interface designed to bring the system closer to users. Plus, the Magic Canvas is an innovative and appealing way of getting people to interact with the machine. We do wish that the Magic Canvas didn't demonstrate as many quirks as it did, like the inability to add new programs or the noticeable lag, and we were still mystified by the lack of USB 3.0 ports included for the system. But overall, we do find that the HP TouchSmart 610 is one of the best all-in-ones on the market, which is why we decided to give it a 4.5 out of 5. For the latest news, reviews, coupons, and deals, be sure to check out techbargains.com, follow us on Twitter at techbargains, or check out our Facebook page.